Have you ever seen one of those drawing explainer videos and thought, man, that'd be so cool if I could do one of those for my lectures or conference presentations or whatever. I mean, talk about standing out from the crowd, right? Or maybe you thought you'd really like to create a short video about your research to put on YouTube or share on social media, you know, maybe for science communication or even just promoting your manuscript or upcoming conference presentation. Well, you can do this in PowerPoint and it is so easy that this video is going to be ridiculously short compared to my other ones. Okay, I'm going to show you a live demo. So um, I have my computer over here and it happens to be a touch screen. So I'm going to go ahead and use my cool fancy pen. I do recommend you do that if you have a touchscreen computer or a laptop, but you could also use a mouse if you don't happen to have one of those. All right, this is how easy it is. You see this draw tab here, you just click on it and then you, you have options for pens and pencils and highlighters. I'm gonna go with this pen over here. Uh, it has a rainbow effect. You've seen me use this on a lot of my YouTube videos. I love it. So I'm just gonna, you can choose your thickness here. You could choose other colors if you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and choose the rainbow. And did you see how it turned into a little red dot? That means it's ready to go. All right, I'm gonna grab my pen and just write something. So, oh my goodness, what? <laughs> Look at that, that is how easy it is to draw. And then if I click on it, all I have to do is go to animations and then click ink replay and then watch what happens. <gasps> what? <laughs> Isn't that just so cool? I mean, really, so get in here, play around with this. It has so many cool things, right? You can like, right? There's the highlighter effect, super cool. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on a regular pen and check this out, right? I'm gonna go ahead and do pie. Oh, lovely, oh, how nice. But you know what? Let's say I don't like the hand-drawn look. I don't know why that's the case. I think hand-drawn looks awesome, but let's say you wanted this to turn into like actual text. Well, you draw it, you click it, and then you click ink to math and what? <laughs> and that works for a lot of things. You can even say, um, hello, click that, and then you can turn that into text. Okay, and then there you go, you've got your text box. And then you can also do that for shape. So super cool, get in there and test it out. Isn't that cool? If you are excited about the possibilities with Ink Replay, then make sure you hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel. And yes, I did that by drawing in PowerPoint and using Ink Replay. So you may be wondering, well, when does it make sense for me to use Ink Replay? And the obvious answer, in my opinion, is whenever you want your presentation to be awesome, <clears throat> of course, <laughs> but on a more serious note, you know, honestly, anytime you've ever just wanted to draw something because you knew it'd be faster or easier than anything else, you know, you're teaching stats and you want to write out a formula, boom, there you go. Just use draw and ink replay. And then because you've taken my course and know how important this is and why it's so effective, you add circles and arrows or really just anything. I mean, you can draw images so you don't have to search for them online. You can draw connections or models or processes or, you know, whatever. You have options here. If you've ever wanted to draw something or mark something on your slides, now you can do it. The way I think of it is if you've ever missed overhead projectors, and yes, I am old enough to remember what those are, okay? <laughs> then, you know, Ink Replay is perfect for you. So which version of PowerPoint has this? Honestly, that's gonna depend on when you watch this video, but I've included a link below from Microsoft about which versions have it. So, you know, go ahead and check that link. I'm using Office 365 for Windows. Um, so hopefully you have it or can get it because this feature rocks. Now you might have some really good questions right now or questions are going to pop up as you try this. You know, tips for getting smoother lines and better drawings or, you know, how to fix how to fix it when the drawing order doesn't go the way that you thought it would and just in general recommendations for setups and pens. Well, I am making detailed video lessons answering those questions and more, but that information is going to be in my online course, Blast Off to Stellar Slides, so you'll need to be a member of that course to get that information. 
And just in case you're new to my channel and haven't heard, BOSS is an online program made specifically for academic scientists, researchers, evaluators, and similar professionals, people who use slides for lectures and conference presentations and keynotes and job talks and teaching demos and final project presentations and all that good stuff. So more information about that is linked below. And you can get started for free through my free course, Stellar Slides in 5. That link is also below. Well, as usual, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it with others, and be sure to subscribe. And hey, I'm Dr. Echo Rivera, and thank you for helping me in death by PowerPoint. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.